So what are you working on here? Um, I'm doing my current math lesson. So what my teacher did was he filmed videos and outlined the lessons and so we could follow them and write down just like we would do in a classroom setting. Cynthia and her friend Madeline are doing their schoolwork in the library today, but they could just as easily be doing it at home or in a park or at a friend's house because for the next three days, they will be doing all of their classes virtually. I do like how I can kind of pace myself if I want to work on a different subject that day. Of course, normally the students would be here at their school in their classrooms. That's not possible for the next few days because more than a thousand other students from across the country have moved in. This is the Canadian Student Leadership Conference. It's the uh, only national student leadership conference for high school students in Canada. Here for a week of uh, cultural experiences, keynote speakers, leadership development workshops, uh, live entertainment. It's really just uh, an awesome week. But that awesome week needs space. And that's why all of the students from Sir John A. Macdonald are now doing these three days of virtual learning. Usually these days would have been made up somehow in the future. But because teachers planned ahead for months for this virtual learning project, the students will be able to stay on track with their lessons all online. I definitely think this could be something for the future just because we've already seen um, how much of our regular days um, going into technology or moving forward with technology. The main reason why this is even possible at Sir John A. Macdonald is because three years ago they were part of a laptop pilot project. Each grade 9 student receiving a Chromebook when they enter high school and it is carried with them through their four or five years of high school. As for these three days of virtual learning, it is a work in progress and it's unknown if this system can work for all kids. But educators say no matter the results of the next three days, it definitely won't be replacing teachers or schools. Kids worry that we will replace the teacher in some way, shape, or form, and they love everything that is school, and that is not the goal at all. Um, the goal is to create an engaging alternate environment, so really bringing our teaching into our 21st century learner's world. Well, once these three days are done, the results will be studied to see if this type of learning could be applied again in the future under similar circumstances. In Waterloo, Audra Brown, City News.